cose. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my thumbnails, my iconic thumbnails. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how I make my showcases. So as you can see on this video, there's like a reindeer outfit on top of a template. I'm going to be showing you guys how I make that. Just a couple minutes ago, I literally just asked you guys to help me on what to like record today. And um, it looks like how I make my thumbnails one, which I don't have a problem with. And don't get me wrong, I will get to all of these options in the future. Like say next week, I can easily do patch jeans or whatever. And yeah, do not worry if this isn't the one that you picked. I will get to all of them in the future. All right, to start off, you're going to want to type in pixlr.com. And then you're probably thinking, which one do I pick? Like, there is so many options. Pick the first one, the one that says pixlr.com. And then you're going to want to go to Pixlr E. And yeah, so to start off, we are going to make the showcase template that we're going to add on the thumbnail. So I suggest going to open image and then import the showcase template. If you do not have this template, I will link it down in the description down below. So do not worry. I will save you guys. And yeah, once that's open, you're going to want to go back to home and now you're going to want to import your clear template. If you guys don't have a clear template, I will also link that into the description down below because I feel like this is needed for what we're doing here because like you'll see in a couple minutes. If you already have it, you can go to open image, choose that clear template, open it right up and it should bring you here. After that, we're going to first import the shirt. So you're going to want to go to layer, add image as layer. And now that you're here, you're going to want to click the background layer, double click this lock thing and bobber thing. And then you're going to want to go back to that shirt layer, make sure you're on that. Click and then drag it right underneath. Once you've done that, you're going to want to select the torso area. Make sure it's in these black lines. Don't go over that because it'll select some nonsense that you don't want. And then go back to the showcase template. It should be up here and all you have to do is click it and you'll get to this part. Once you're here, you're going to want to click Control V to paste it. Click and then drag it into the middle. So this is usually really hard to line up perfectly. So I suggest going to the select button or whatever and then just select it, making sure it lines up with the white here. So see how it's like lined up perfectly? That is what you want. It's perfect and don't touch it. After that, you're going to want to go back to the template and now you're going to want to select the sleeves, but only the front sleeve. Again, you're going to want to click Control C, go back to the showcase template, and then click Control V. Now you're going to want to do the same thing and then drag it right next to the shirt here. And if it's the same as the other side, you can click duplicate and then just flip horizontal. So if you want to be original and add like a full on outfit, you can go back to the template, clear this whole shirt template thingy right out of the way by clicking backspace on your computer, go to layer, add image as layer, and then import the pants that you want to use. Do the same thing, go to the pants layer, click and then drag underneath the background layer, and ta-da! So PSA, PS. P.S. So um, if you guys want to see how I make this, just comment down below. These are the patch jeans I was talking about. A lot of people did not like them once I like showed it to them, but I personally think it's really trendy. So if you want to see this, just comment down below and I'll be happy to help. Um, I find them adorable. Anyways, make sure you're on the jeans layer. Zoom in and only select the torso area. Just like the same concept as the shirt. So after control C, go back to the showcase, click control V, and then just move it right on top of these white things here. Like so, go back to the template and select the front of the jeans. So 
So after that, you are completely done the showcase template, so you can easily add that onto a advertisement for Roblox, but that is not what we're doing today. <laughs> we are making a template with it. So I'm going to go to file, click save, name it whatever you want, click download, close that, and close both of these templates here. Okay, so hear me out. This is the funnest part ever. So you are going to make the base plate for the thumbnail. I'm going to go to create new. So name it whatever you want. Oh my God, I'm sounding like I'm gonna cry. Make sure the widest is 1,280. Make sure the height is 720. 420, gang, gang. <laughs> After that, you're going to want to click create. I promise this is like the most exciting part. You are going to want to find a background. Okay, so I find this really freaking cute. So I'm going to right click that and click copy image. Go back to Pixlr and just paste that. And now fill in the whole template with it. Okay, so quickly I'm going to blur the image just a little bit. We don't have to go overboard. You can go to filter and then click details. Just hover over it. Click blur. And then kind of blur it out a little bit. So now I'm going to add some border to it, like a little outline on the edges. So I like to go to the select tool and make little rectangles here. Oh, and now I'm going to click layer, new layer, choose whatever color you want it to be. Go to this little plunger. Nope, bucket. <laughs> I meant bucket. Fill that right in. And then I'm going to go to these three little buttons here and then play around with the transparency. Now I'm going to duplicate it and then add it to all sides. And once that's finished, I'm going to merge all the layers so it doesn't look like we have like a pile of it. So I'm going to click control six. After that, we are going to want to import the showcase that we just made. So go to layer, click add image as layer, and there you go. So I'm going to make that a little bigger just so like everyone that sees my thumbnail can actually see what we're making today. Then we're going to tilt it a little bit just to make it look rad. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna add outline to the outfit. So I'm going to go to filter, outline, and then just play around with this. Like you can change the size to like 150 and it looks like you're a baddie, but I'm not a patty. Okay, so now we are going to add some text to our thumbnail. So you should go to text here, click anywhere, add, and you can just add whatever text you want. And you can change the font by going to Ariel, Arial or whatever, and then choose the font that you like the most. You can change the color by going to color here. So you can also add a outline to the text, which is my favorite, and you can go to style and then click outline and then choose the color that you want. And you can obviously make the text bigger by going to size. Okay, so at this point you can add whatever you want and yeah. Yeah, that's basically how I make my thumbnails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I certainly did. Like, look at how cute that is. I'm so proud. And yeah, if it taught you guys something new, make sure to leave a like. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And comment down below what you want to see next. And yeah, have a great day. And I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for 18K. We are so close to 19K and that is ridiculous. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.